what can you do to make things safer for your family at your home? Uh, the best thing you can do is be together, be strong, and have a good, strong leadership structure in place. You need to have a you need to have an alpha there. You need to have someone that's capable, that can handle things, that knows how to respond to small and big emergencies, and adapt and overcome. And that is much better than any physical item that you can have, is this mindset, this ability to just fix it, get it done. If you don't have that person, then something that I have suggested to some families is finding that person. If you happen to know a person that's in an industry that's good at finding problems and fixing them, mechanics, contractors, uh, those kinds of people, they will come up with a solution. Now the challenge is, if times ever get rough in the United States, whether it's in a month or 20 years or 80 years, the challenge will be that good men will want to be home taking care of their families. And they do not want to leave and come and spend time away from their families protecting you. So a common technique or a smart move would be if you have a guest quarters, invite this strong person and their family to come and be with you. and say, hey, come live with us for six months to a year. This is what we'll pay you. Um, see what the see what the person says. If you don't know somebody like that, ask around with trusted people. I know a few people that would be willing to do that. Um, I'm in a position that I'm choosing to stay in my house. Um, however, there are some other solutions as well. Uh, let me know if you have questions and I can either guide you to resources or work for you and, and help you find the right person or the right solution to keep you and your family safe. Stay strong. Uh, anytime there are tough times, remember, in times like these, there have always been times like these. Stay strong, be happy, be positive, let's keep going.